Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 27, and today we're talking about the multiband compressor. It's located in the FX tab on the drop-down menu, the second row, and the very last module over here. So for this demonstration, I'm also going to be using the same patch that we used last time, which is going to be this one. Now, when we load up the multiband compressor, it's going to look like this, but let's go to presets and go to default because it's not technically the default when you first load it up. So first of all, let's go to this mode here and let's select this and go to above only and talk about this section first. So it's a little bit less confusing. So first things first, we have our amount here. So we can do the same thing as like the dry, wet kind of parallel compression here. So that's kind of our top right knob right over there. Now, these three bands here, if we pull these down and kind of take a look at these here, these are going to be our three bands that are split across the frequency spectrum, and we can change that crossover by these two values over here. So on the far left, it's going to be 150, and on the right, it's going to be 2.5K. Now, the bottom left goes all the way down to 30, and it goes all the way to the top at 3,000. Double-click for default, and the right one goes down to 300, and the top at 15K. So I thought I'd mention that as well. We can always turn one of these off and it can go to two bands or we could turn both of these off and it's just one band right here if you want to work that way. So yeah, we can kind of have a combination of those two as well, kind of depending on your workflow. Now we have down here our out low, out mid, out high. So let's say you have a certain compression going on with your lows, mids and highs and you kind of want to output a little bit more highs. These are going to be the knobs that you'd want to reach for. Now we can drive our input a little bit louder, whatever's coming in here. So if we play some let's go back to default here and let's play our patch here and go back to above only we can start low mid and high here and we can always increase the input going into the compressor and it's going to kind of distort maybe it's too loud and we kind of want to reduce it a little bit before it comes in here and we can see those meters function accordingly. However, something to point out, these meters are going to be what's coming in. So if we have, for example, let's turn this down a little bit and we want to increase our highs or lower them, these meters are going to be the same because these meters are what's coming in and these knobs correspond to what's going out. So I thought I'd mention that just in case it was a little confusing. And we have our typical attack time right here and our release very same knobs as we were talking about in the last video. And then our final output for our whole module down here on the bottom right. Now these bands are a little bit interesting because when we grab this down here, dragging this line here, what we're actually dragging is going to be the threshold. So let's work on the top end over here. Now, if we hold our mouse inside this bar and click and drag up and down, now we can change the ratio that way. So if we wanted to do like a five to one, like we did last time, we drag in here and select all the way up to five to one, and then we play, and it's only gonna, com gonna compress that top band right there. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna turn off the distortion here. And the same thing works with all the three bands here. So setting the threshold like this, and then the ratio over here, we can really draw, draw down the ratio. And this, or the, uh, the threshold, and this threshold is very similar to what we had before with the compressor here, where we drink, drag this knob down here. It's basically the same thing. And the multiband, let's go back to our default, is if we were dragging this line here, and then the ratio right here was the same knob as the ratio over here. So. Kind of thing is these two knobs are going to be more so located on those actual bars itself. And if I wanted to maybe compress the lows a little bit here, let's go back to our above only. Maybe something like that, kind of tickling the meters and let's go if it's low end stuff, I kind of would rather go to eight to one, something like that. Let's compress our mids a little bit here. And we go to four to one or something like that. And which is nice because you could have different ratios and thresholds per band. And then our high is kind of bouncing up and down quite a bit. So let's compress that a little bit as well. Now we can also go to above and below. So above so below or something, however, that works right there. So it kind of functions in the same way. It's just a little bit different. Think of it as an opposite kind of thing. So for example, let's take away all of our compression here at the top. Let's bring this all the way to the top like that. And so right now, all our compression is off, all the bars are at the top. So they're not touching the meters. They're not really doing anything. 
Now let's look at this top end here. So let's drag this up. And we notice nothing's really happening here. Now if we select our hand inside here, it's going to be one to one. So there's really not much going on here. And if we hover over this, our, our mouse over the, uh, over this bar here, and we look at the bottom and it says ratios below one result in downward expansion. So let's try that and see what happens. Now, as we increase that bar and this ratio is lower than one, pretty low actually, it's pretty much almost gone. Now let's drag this bar down. Now it's a very interesting concept to wrap your head around, so I highly def recommend to experiment with these uh, these settings here, especially the downward or the uh, upward, I guess, however you want to call it, these bars down here, so we can really get a feel of what's going on here. So we tried below one, so let's see what happens if we try above one. And we can always double click this too to go back to default. So let's go to something maybe around two or three. And we can see we're dragging that, that top or the higher end and we're dragging it upwards in volume. So an interesting way to think about this, let's double click this here and let's see where our signal is here. So if we're above our signal and it's one to one, nothing's really happening. As we press play and drag this upwards, we can really affect each individual band this way as well, which is very interesting. So let's double click this and drop this back down and let's check out, see what happens on the low end spectrum. So we're gonna drag this upwards here, a little past the, uh, the meters here, and click this in the center and drag this upwards. And then you can drag these down in conjunction with the downward. So let's say I like the sound, but I want to bring a little bit more highs and kind of bring those upwards here. So let's see what, if we can do that here. Okay, we're liking that, but maybe we'll want a little bit more mids in there as well. And something interesting I did want to showcase as well. So let's go back to this default section here. And let's also have another multiband compressor going on as well. So what's going to be happening here is for the signal chain, we are having this first multiband going into the second. So let's take a listen and see what's happening first. So let's say maybe we want to compress this mid band first before it goes into the second one. we can see these meters kind of correspond as well. And let's say this, this low end here is kind of going a little bit too past here. So let's, let's compress this a little bit here. Let's do a ratio of maybe like four or something to one. Now let's get our high end a little bit more in control. So we can do something like this. We have this kind of evening out in this multiband and going in here, and then we can also add more compression or more expansion kind of stuff going on here. And that's really the power of pigments. And what's also interesting too, is we can always change this cross over here. So we can have one multiband compressor compressing certain spots of the signal that's getting sent to another multiband compressor, changing the crossover frequencies of these bands and then processing them differently. So highly recommend you spend some time with the multiband compressor. Hopefully this kind of maybe demystifies it a little bit if it was somewhat confusing. If there's any parts that are still confusing, please let me know and I will try to respond in the comments and do my best to clear that up for you guys. So with that being said, we will see you in the next video and thanks for watching. I just wanted to play it one last time.